guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Anastasia Stick Foundation. I'm in the shade Ivory and I've tried this about four times so far so I thought that I have a pretty good idea of how I like it and stuff like that. So I'm going to apply it and I'm also going to bring you throughout the day so that you can see how it lasts throughout the day and if it would be for you. So first off I want to start off by saying that my skin has changed so much over the last couple of years. I used to have extremely dry skin and now it is definitely oily. If I don't put anything on my face it's fine, it's pretty normal, but as soon as I put any products on my face it gets so oily throughout the day. I don't know why but with foundations if they're in a stick I find that they tend to be more of a matte finish and that's what I've heard so far is that these are really matte and if you have dry skin I've heard that they can be a little bit drying so I'm gonna pull up Sephora's website here so I can just explain like what it says here on the website so that I give you the correct information and kind of like a preview to what this foundation is supposed to do. It's ideal for all skin tones, combination to oily skin types. It's easy to layer and delivers medium to full coverage with a smooth finish. Uh, perfect for touch-ups, highlighting, and contouring. So I'm just going to be using it for my foundation. So it does come in a stick form like so. And then I'm just going to zoom you in so that I can show you the application more like up in my grill. So I'm just gonna go right in with the foundation. I find that it looks almost identical to the Bobbi Brown stick foundation. The Bobbi Brown one is gold where the Anastasia one is rose gold. The first thing that I do want to point out is when I applied this I realized that I do need to apply a lot to give the coverage that I prefer. It is a medium coverage and it's buildable to full but I like a full coverage especially since I'm breaking out in a couple of areas I want it to really cover those spots. So I'm just going to go directly in with it. I know if you feel, if you don't like doing that with your foundations, you could definitely pick it up on your brush and then apply it. I don't notice a difference when I do that or not. I don't break out from stuff like that, I've noticed. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush. It's the F80. I'm just going to stipple this in. And it is very like drying feeling. Um, it's very like matte. Like it's kind of hard to move around. So that's it there. You can see it's definitely about a medium coverage because it covered pretty well except I can still see those areas peeking through. So I'm going to go in and really kind of cover those up again. And then stipple this in with the brush. And that's definitely more of the coverage that I'm looking for. Just more full coverage and just all over even. Um, I don't really want my skin to really peek through. I really like that full coverage look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the rest of my face using the same technique as I just showed you. Alright, so this is the foundation applied. I just have the foundation on, that's it. I don't have any like concealer or bronzer or anything. Um, I'm gonna turn the brightness down and get really close to the camera so you can really see what this looks like. So this is the foundation with obviously no filter. Um, I don't have any concealer on or bronzer or anything. Um, I just really wanted you to see it like up close. So I just applied the rest of my makeup. I will list everything down below that I used. So I'm going to zoom in and show you this. I'm going to turn down the brightness. I just want to like show you really close up so you can see even with my makeup all the way done what the foundation looks like. And I will do this when I check in later on in the day too so you can really see what everything looks like up close. Um, Cause I know sometimes like with the lighting and everything, it's really hard to tell. So yeah, yeah. It's 2.15 right now. I will check back in a couple hours to show you what it looks like. And I will also check back in at the end of the day to show you everything, give you my final thoughts, and then you can make up your own conclusion at the end of this too. So I'll see you soon. It is now 4.34. So it's only been, I think like two hours or so. And as you can see, like the natural oils have already started to come through just a little bit. So it looks a little bit more like a got lipstick all over my chin and it looks a little bit more like a natural sort of finish rather than super matte so so far so good I'll check back at the end of the day Candace say hello hello Candace what do you think my <laughs> foundation looks like flawless do I look like nasty oily 
Cool. No. No. Not oily at all. Cool beam. Okay, and this is what it looks like really up close. Okay, bye. So it is 1041. So I've had this on for like eight hours, I believe. And I am definitely dewy and it definitely looks different than this morning but it lasts so much better than other foundations that I have to be honest because it gives that more matte finish. I did have a breakout here that I kind of messed with, not kind of, I fully messed with it, and over here as well. But other than that, I feel like it stayed on very well. It is breaking up here on the forehead and also here like on the cheeks just a little bit, but that is where I get the most oily, so it's just kind of... I don't know, I'm used to it. And honestly, if I was out and about and not doing this kind of review, I would touch up with powder throughout the day, regardless of what foundation it is. But so, so far, I really love this foundation. This is probably the fifth time that I've worn it and I really, really love how it wears. Yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more like foundation reviews or any other product reviews, let me know down below and let me know what specific ones you really wanna see. Cause I really love doing these videos. I think it's so interesting. And whenever I'm considering buying a new product, I watch a review on it because I wanna make sure that it's something that I'm gonna love. So if you wanna see more of those kinds of videos, just let me know and I would be more than happy to do it. So. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys liked it and I will see you later. Bye.